Do you think it's too late to strike it rich and make your mark on the world? Think again. What if I tell you that some of the most iconic billionaires saw real success after they turned 50? Yes, you heard that right. 50. From revolutionizing the fast food industry to transforming our perspective on the automobile world. These late bloomers prove that sometimes the best is yet to come. Get ready to be amazed as we unveil the silver linings of starting late and striking gold in the golden years. Let's uncover how legends found success after 50. And remember, it's never too late to start your journey. Let's begin with the legendary entrepreneur Kay Kroc, who revolutionized the fast food industry in his time. Born in 1902, Ray Kroc started his career as a salesman selling milkshake machines. His relentless drive and keen sales understanding made him a standout in his field. Ray Kroc's life took a dramatic turn in 1954, when, at the age of 52, he visited a highly efficient small restaurant operated by the McDonald brothers in San Bernardino, California. This visit sparked his groundbreaking idea. What if he could take this restaurant model and spread it across the country? Seizing this opportunity, Ray Kroc proposed a partnership with the McDonald brothers to franchise their restaurant concept. With an agreement, he opened the first franchise McDonald's in De Plinis, Illinois in 1955. Crocs established rigorous standards for consistency, quality and service. These principles are the backbone of McDonald's operations to this day. His vision for the brand extended beyond just selling burgers. It was about creating an American icon. Through aggressive marketing campaigns and a focus on the family-friendly dining experience, McDonald's rapidly expanded by 1961. Ray Kroc had full control of the McDonald's Corporation, buying out the McDonald brothers for $2.7 million. His strategic moves continued to propel the company's growth. And by the late 1960s, McDonald's had served its billionth hamburger. Under Ray's leadership, McDonald's became not just a restaurant chain, but a symbol of America. With over 700 locations by the time he stepped down as CEO in 1973, Today, McDonald's operates over 38,000 locations worldwide, serving millions of customers every day. This vast network is a tribute to the enduring legacy of Ray Kroc's revolutionary approach to business, an approach he began developing at the age of 52. Much like Ray Kroc's revolutionary approach to fast food, Henry Ford reshaped the automobile industry. Ford started his journey in a workshop where his relentless tinkering led to the creation of the Ford Motor Company in 1903. His early models, like the Model T, quickly gained popularity due to their affordability and reliability. At the age of 50, Ford made a groundbreaking move that would forever alter manufacturing. The introduction of the moving assembly line in 1930. This innovation was not just about speeding up production. It was about making cars affordable to the common man. The assembly line reduced the time it took to build a car from more than 12 hours to about two and a half hours. The impact of this innovation was profound. By reducing production times, Ford was able to slash the costs and prices of his cars. The famous Model T's price dropped from $850 to $260 over its production run, making it accessible to millions more customers. Ford also showed strategic insight in his treatment of workers, understanding the importance of a satisfied workforce. He famously doubled his workers' wages to $5 a day in 1914, a move that not only reduced high employee turnover but also boosted productivity. By the mid-1920s, Ford was producing over half of all cars in America. His vision and innovative approach made the automobile not just a luxury item for the few, but an essential part of everyday life for many. Following the trailblazing paths of industrial giants like Henry Ford, Falguni Sanjay Nair carved her niche in the beauty and e-commerce sector. After a successful career in finance, where she served as a managing director at Kotak Mahindra Capital, Falguni decided to channel her vast experience into entrepreneurship. At the age of 50, Falguni took a significant entrepreneurial leap 
She founded Nike in 2012 using $2 million of her savings. Her vision was clear. She aimed to create a beauty and lifestyle retail empire that catered to the diverse needs of Indian customers. Building Nike came with many challenges. One of the first big hurdles Falguni faced was raising extra money. E-commerce was new in India and convincing investors about an online beauty store was tough. Setting up a strong supply chain from scratch also needed careful planning and execution. Despite these challenges, Falcone's strategic focus on customer relationships and personalized services set Nike apart. She implemented an extensive range of beauty products catering to different demographics and preferences. Under her leadership, Nike expanded rapidly. The company now sells over 4,500 brands through its online platform and has 100 stores across India. Today, Nike is a top example of successful brand building in the digital age and shows how innovative leadership can turn challenges into big growth. With a net worth of $2.5 billion as of August 2023, Falcone Sanjay Nair's journey with Nike inspires entrepreneurs around the world. Today, we've seen how visionaries like Ray Kroc, Henry Ford, and Falguri Sanjay Nair turned their retirement years into golden years. Each of them changed the game in their respective fields, proving that it's never too late to begin and succeed. And yes, if you're inspired to grow your venture but need financial banking, don't let your age deter you. Whether you're a young startup or a late bloomer, Exit Fund is here to help you turn your vision into reality. So, what are you waiting for? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more inspiring stories and practical tips. Your journey to success might just be a click away.